Memory. Once consumers attend to and comprehend information about products and services and form perceptions about them, what happens to that information? Information must be retained, saved, or remembered for a potentially long period of time in order to be used when the purchase situation arises. This is the role of the memory system. Human memory consists of multiple memory systems, just as a computer's memory consists of multiple memory systems. The way consumers remember marketing information is a complex process, and there are many memory theories. However, a widely accepted approach that is most commonly used to understand the role of memory in consumer behavior is, is the multiple store model. The multiple store memory model consists of three types of memory storage systems, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Information is first registered in sensory memory where the pre-attention stage occurs and the person briefly and unconsciously analyzes a stimulus, such as an ad, to determine whether additional processing capacity should be allocated to it. If the stimulus is perceived to be related to the person's goals, cognitive capacity will be directed to it and the information shifts to short-term memory. In short-term memory, also known as working memory, people are actively processing the information. Long-term memory is connected to short-term memory through encoding and retrieval processes. Encoding is the process of transferring information from short to long-term memory for permanent storage. Just as the information contained in sensory memory is lost if we don't pay attention to it, likewise the information in short-term memory is lost within about 30 seconds if not rehearsed or elaborated on. Rehearsal occurs when a person repeats information to encode it into long-term memory. Information could also be lost through replacement by other information in the limited storage capacity of short-term memory. Retrieval is the process of accessing information stored in long-term memory so it can be used in short-term memory. Short-term memory has limited capacity, and psychologist George Miller proposed in his Miller's Law that the average person has the ability to process only about seven, plus or minus two, chunks of information at a time. Chunks are individual, meaningful pieces of information as small as a single letter, a syllable, or an entire word. However, research has shown that this estimate may be overly optimistic. If consumers may only be able to remember and hold in short-term memory about five bits of information. High involvement situations can actually boost a consumer's short-term memory capacity because the consumer is physiologically activated or aroused to an optimal level which expands the capacity of short-term memory to its maximum extent. Otherwise, under low involvement conditions, arousal level is likely to be very low, so consumers will have very little memory capacity to dedicate to the stimulus. Because consumers tend to be in a lower involvement state when exposed to commercials, advertisers limit the number of ideas presented in an advertising message to anywhere between three and five. Rehearsal is key to transferring information from short-term memory to long-term memory because it allocates cognitive capacity to a stimulus. A person can rehearse information by silently repeating it in their mind. Another means by which information can be transferred into long-term memory is elaboration, which involves active processing of information by incorporating other information already in memory to help identify meaning in the new information. So whereas rehearsal involves active processing, only elaboration entails using information already in our memories. Suppose you wanted to commit to long-term memory your social security number and you notice that one of the chunks in the number is 1776, the year the United States won its independence. Suppose it also includes the number 305, which is your area code. 
in elaborating on the connections between the social security number and information you have stored in memory, you're finding connections between the new information and existing knowledge, which helps encode it into long-term memory. How long does it take to transfer a chunk of information to long-term memory? Research has found that it depends on how the information is going to be recalled from long-term memory. If the consumer's goal is simply to recognize that they have seen a stimulus, such as a product or brand name before, which is a recognition task, then it takes only two to five seconds for the transfer to take place to long-term memory. However, if the consumer will be recalling the information without any assistance at a later time, otherwise known as a recall task, the transfer time is longer and requires anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds for a single chunk of information. These differences in transfer times have important implications for managers. When developing messages, the marketer should consider whether the consumer will be in a recognition task or a recall task. In a recognition task, there will be information placed in front of the consumer, such as a product display at a store, and the goal of the consumer is simply to judge whether the information has been seen previously. In such situations, marketers may provide a retrieval cue by placing verbal or visual information from an ad on the product packaging to assist consumers' memories during decision making. Children's cereals, for example, frequently feature animals from the ads on the product boxes themselves. In a recall task, the consumer must retrieve the information from long-term memory without assistance. For example, suppose that you are hungry while you are out shopping and you decide to go to lunch and you must pick a restaurant from memory among those you know are located in the immediate area. The set of acceptable alternatives a person can recall from memory is called the consideration set. If the name of a particular restaurant isn't retrieved from memory, then it cannot be considered or selected. Because the time required to transfer information from short-term to long-term memory is longer when unaided recall is required, firms go to greater lengths to promote their brand in such cases to help consumers recall the brand from memory.